Hello and welcome. Doing our Google Earth tour today, this time talking about the Sundarbans exclusively uh, in the along the theme of the cartoonish rivers phenomenon, as I'm calling them. So we've got the overall look of it. This is the general area. The these little curve things we will talk about and multiple variations, a bunch of parallel lines we will see. A uh, short version, uh, or just the cliff notes for the rest of the episode, uh, the whole area looks like it's artificial and worked over. Big surprise, I guess, but uh, that's the uh, verdict on my end. So uh, let's go check some of this stuff out in Google Earth. All right, so the Sundarbans is in this area of... Bangladesh and into uh, a little bit of eastern India. So as you can see, I put I got quite a bit of place marks over here. So uh, first of all, let's just measure the area, get a feel for it. And in this video, we will only be exploring the Sundarbans. We won't go to any other areas. Uh, so the width is 94 miles roughly, and then length. Uh, about, yeah, about 100 miles by 50 miles or so for the area. Where to first? Um, over here, you say? Okay. So this slightly bulbous phenomenon, there's more blatant uh, or more awkward examples, and then there's more natural looking ones like this, or more easily explained. And um, I think I'll just start uh, on the left or the, uh, the west and work my way over and try and hit as many of these as I can. So let's start at this one over here. Natural curve or bulbous features. So that's the same general idea. And let's take a quick look back in history because uh, it does look kind of somewhat abrupt, but there's potential good explanations for that. So let's See how it looked, what, 2003? So fairly clean looking in 2003. Again, I'll uh, throw the idea out there of uh, natural whirlpools or like monsoonal, uh, yeah, whirlpools. And it is, uh, oh, so this is pretty large. I didn't realize how large these things were. So uh, 452 feet across. So I was thinking like maybe this is like a fisherman like doing it. Uh, you know, just cutting out a chunk of the land to harvest, I don't know, whatever coastal critters live in there. Uh, but this is a little bigger than seems feasible for that. It's uh, about 450 feet across. And this particular one not seeming to change much over the years. Some of them do change a little bit, so that's interesting. Uh, this could have been made whenever. And then this line right here is typical of something you see all over the area. I don't have a place mark here, but uh, we can see this faint straight path here, and that's very typical of the area. We'll see a lot of this, like uh, even this right here, potentially. Uh, so just plenty of uh, very long straight lines. Let me see if I can get a good but yeah, it's, it shows up pretty clear in this one. So just this long, thin path here. Many of these could be foot trails. Here's another one going across, but it's like a grid over the whole area and multiple orientations of these lines. And too many to be pragmatic or uh, just conventional activity, in my somewhat humble opinion. But... Um, all right, one place mark down, <laughs> about 100 more to go, so let's keep moving. What do we got up here? These curves or bulbs may be modern. See 2003 photo. Okay, so let's try and figure this out. 2003 photo. So, okay, so we have what looks like people or boats doing something. 
And yeah, so this may be some modern activity here. Uh, and then looking like it kind of gets abandoned or not used anymore. So either this photo is when they were creating this um, feature for whatever purpose, or when they came and used the feature for whatever and did this. Uh, I tend to gravitate towards modern conventional stuff, most likely. And then we have additional activity here and here. So these uh, curves or bulbs we're seeing could be whatever these people are doing here. Um, let's see. And then there's nothing in 2009, so it looks like there's a decent change to the coastline, perhaps. And then even looking like some hints of curves here, so it may be, man, it may be a natural thing, as strange as it seems, because uh, they kind of just gradually pop up, like right here. It just kind of grows almost. Slightly strange, but um, yeah, what? Not sure what it is, but that's that. And then over here, let's look at this area as well. So similar kind of chunky, um, almost like those perfect uh, curves or semicircles. Not quite though. Slightly different. But let's go back in historical photos and see if we can. See what's going on. 2002 is as early as we get. And let's see how it changes over the years. So 2002. So could be an image overlap issue, but it looks like the coastline is actually uh, receding as time goes on. Perhaps. So I'm looking at this guy. So it seems to like start like that little thing. And then it gets a little bigger right here. And then a little bigger. So yeah, I think these things grow over time, whatever they are. Like, uh, like here you see some nice semicircles. See that? Almost, or that, that kind of look to it at least. And then it seems to kind of Uh, abate or recede the shoreline. So I don't know if I would say uh, shenanigans on these guys. It's a, a little strange looking, but then it's like a mangroved area, so I don't really know what to expect. So uh, let's keep moving. So we've done these three. What's up here? Straight gash. Okay, bear spot. Uh, let's take a look at that. Straight. Um, it take me a minute to get my bearings here. So, I'm looking at this right here. And it could just be a um, coincidentally somewhat straight patch of river. Let's see. Uh, possible angle there or another thing here, but let's look at historical photos. See what we get. Looking a little more well defined in this one. Uh, and here we go. Here's a, a path here that seems to continue possibly there. And certainly over here, there's some indication of it. And over here as well. And possibly even continuing here. Uh, Some line here, if you see that, some kind of line, and these parallel lines, they could be image glitches or uh, digital artifacts or something, so I won't harp on that, even though that could be something real, but I'm not too certain, so yeah, but there appears to be some something uh, across here, could just be an old river path or any number of things, possible parallel lines here going across, if you see that. 
that. Um, okay, where, what do my place marks say? Continue, yeah, just something that goes like that. So whatever that is, and then what else? Line across. So just to get a feel for where we are. Line across. So I think I mean this maybe. Let's see. Or maybe even this. Let's get a historical look here. Hmm, what do I mean? Oh, here we go. This is what I meant. I meant uh, this right here. So this is one end of it. And then looks like it kind of, we kind of lose it here. And then it looks like it continues over here. And maybe even there. Here are some possible faint indications of parallel stuff. Not too sure. So more hesitant on that. But this looks a little strange. Um, not as strange as some of the other stuff we'll see. Like here we see uh, this line here and this, possibly the same line and the parallel little lines are jumping out at me. Tough to say if they're really there or digital artifact, but yeah, that line's kind of fading away, but you see it pretty clearly. Uh, back in the day, 2002, so. Uh, what else do we have? Oops. Line across. Um, just looking at other potential lines here. If you look closely anywhere, really, you can see lines like, or potential odd lines. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, here we have some parallel lines apparently, so let's check these out. Uh, let's get oriented here. I think parallel lines east-west, so that would be this way. So let's check that out. Not seeing it. Hmm. Sometimes you gotta kind of squint and zoom out and zoom in until it jumps out at you. Let's see, uh, maybe a faint line right there. Bit of a stretch, but maybe here we're starting to see something there-ish. Maybe like this is what I was talking about, like faint indications of tick marks or something. See something there. Uh, hmm. This even a little bit, perhaps. Bear with me. Uh, there's some potentially stronger examples as well. So just working through all the place marks I had. This looking like so a triangular hole is something that's. We see it at least a few times in this area. So that might be one of those, maybe not. Yeah, sorry, I'm not seeing those parallel lines, so we might skip this place mark. What was that image? Okay, um, whatever. And then I had, uh, Uh, parallel lines north south, so that would be like this way more or less. And here I'm seeing something like there, 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 like diagonal here, a little bit. Here, possible parallel lines there. Uh, over here, so faint, it's very faint and hard to make out. But you can kind of see like from here to here some like uh, indications of parallel grooves going this way. Uh, let's see if we can get a clearer view of it. Hmm.
Dang it, I don't know what the heck. I was just looking at this today. I guess I just don't have the eye right now. Let me uh, turn off flux. Kind of makes the color different. Makes it harder to see stuff. Okay. All right, I don't think we're making any progress in this particular area. Uh, I was seeing some parallel lines here though, but oh well. Possible line across there. Certainly see it there. All right, uh, let's keep moving. The stretch long and regular. Okay, let me get that out of the way. So the idea here is this is just an awkwardly regular or cartoonish um, stretch here. It's obviously not perfectly straight. It's just um, a little awkwardly perfect or regular to my eye. And I think most of these are modern, these rectangle things. Uh, okay, so let's continue fairly linear. This just kind of linearly continuing along the fairly linear path of this riverway. Somewhat awkward and abrupt, per perhaps, potentially. And then some line here, if you see that, maybe here, here maybe. Uh, okay, and then this one right here, fairly linear, not I mean, obviously it wiggles a little bit. There's some curve to it. Looking more linear in this photo, but. Uh, mm, here we're kind of seeing an Slightly awkward path here. Nice clean thin line or former river path perhaps. Okay, uh, let's keep moving. Oddly straight river. So just that same idea here of Mm, yeah, kind of straight. Somewhat awkward, but possibly natural. Okay. What's over here? Long parallel lines. Let's check these out. So it's kind of faint, but you see something there and there. And there ish, there maybe, uh, here this direction. So let us possibly kind of angular hole here, but uh, let's look at historical photos. Any clear view of these parallel lines? Seeing some across maybe this way. Maybe this guy here. Potentially, it's not great resolution, not super definitive. Uh, let's scroll through the years. So what do we got? Okay, uh, seeing some faint indications of, hmm, tough to say. I'm sorry, I feel like I haven't really shown any super strong examples yet. Just hang in there if you feel so compelled. Okay, uh, what else? Rectangular hole. Uh, these are likely modern work. 
take a look back and see. It's there in 2002, probably somewhat new, just because uh, on some of these we do see uh, modern activity in the photo, so won't harp on that too much. Clean curve, eh, maybe like this. Here, uh, let's get another view of it. So I'm looking at this curve here, kind of like that semicircle deal. Looking pretty clean there, and then kind of another arc here. If you'll indulge me on the concept, um, kind of seeing some parallelness here, or a little angular linear things in this direction. Mm, maybe. All right, let's keep uh, maybe another curve there, perhaps. Let's keep moving. Long, thin path. Okay, so this one, a little weird. Just a slightly goofy river path here. This one here. It's kind of along the lines of that idea of a, a, a stretch of river that's almost straight for a while, and then it turns and bends again. Sort of. It's not perfectly straight, but kind of get the idea. And then what was I seeing? So these potential tick marks across here, this direction, uh, like lines across, like kind of seeing a line there. Um, like here we see an indication of a line, and it looks like it continues maybe. And align from what? Uh, so, well, first of all, check this out. This edge here, see how awkwardly it continues like this? Uh, it could be natural, but it's just bugging me a little bit. This nice straight continuation of this edge. Uh, just kind of weird. Like, you see this? So that's a decent example. Hopefully you're still watching. <laughs> uh, edge of coast continues. <sighs> okay. So, what else do we have? Fairly straight grooves. Kind of like fairly, you know, fairly straight or whatever. Um, Clean curve arc, maybe. We'll see. Somewhat clean curve. These could be like cleared areas of, and like this is looking kind of like straight edge, straight edge, and then swept arc. See what I'm saying? So it's very, very weird what we're dealing with, whatever it is. If the, uh, now it's looking different. It's like the opposite orientation. Now it's like the curves over here, <laughs> like what the heck, so, or maybe I'm just, uh, I think it's just the, the lighting actually, hmm, this one, yeah, these somewhat clean curves, I mean, it could be any number of explanations, natural or whatever. Keep hitting the place marks. Curves are natural. So it's these guys that I'm wondering about. Uh, so these, and we see, if I'm not mistaken, we do see the coastline change a bit. Just looking for other stuff, but uh, possible parallel lines, maybe. Eh. 
check this out in the historical photos. So they're a little odd looking, but they might be natural. Uh, let's see, they seem to recede a little bit over the years, potentially, unless the image isn't properly aligned. It's tough to say. I think it might just be the image alignment. Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't, I'm not sure there. Curve, here's another curve here. I could imagine this being like a, the currents creating like some type of whirlpool effect and, uh, or something like that. Maybe even like sinkhole or something. This is looking, these ones are more awkward looking to me. Let's measure this real quick. And just like how perfect of a circle this is. Maybe a big dredge came and scooped up a circular scoop potentially. Uh, so holding is formed somewhat since 2007. Uh, and not looking like it changes much. Uh, and here we see kind of a circular or an, an edge of it like that. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a best guess on this. Let's measure it, see how wide it is. 284 feet across. Okay, so pretty big. It's probably not like a lone fisherman doing something. It's a fairly big project if it's an industrial modern thing. Could be like test drilling sites for oil or something, minerals or something like that. Maybe a little tick mark there. I'm hoping uh, I'll get to some good examples of the parallel lines that I was referring to because those are kind of striking and odd. And just looking at this here, not sure. Uh, kind of parallel tick marks here, seemingly, like, yeah, like here, and even back here. Uh, all right. Let's see, is this being used, this square? Looks like it might be. Okay. Rectangular patch there. Oh yeah, this. Uh, just kind of chilling out there. It might not be a rectangular patch, it might just be a confluence of lines, like this line and this line. And also I'm seeing this line right here. Do you see that? You guys see it faintly there? And then this line. So, and maybe like here. So here might be a good example of parallel lines in multiple directions here, this. And then these in this orientation, like another one here, if you see it there, it's kind of faint, but, and here we see kind of like chunky angular patches perhaps. So it's pretty subtle. Maybe here and here and here, 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 but I think it is there. That's, it's it's difficult to point out because it's it's marginally uh, visible. So there's that, and again, you should be in f uh, full screen and uh, 1080 resolution if you want to see any of this stuff. Otherwise, uh, can't really see what I'm talking about. But this line is very clearly there, whatever that is, whether it's a foot trail or a modern vehicle path or something. Um, and then I'm seeing like other parallel lines as well. So it's possible. 
what else we got here? Curve, circular hole. Okay. Uh, I don't think I covered this area yet, so let's check it out. Parallel grooves. Parallel grooves. You want to talk about these? These? Uh, let's see, what am I talking about? These may be, that might be what I'm referring to. Uh, kind of see indications of something going this way. See, like this. Uh, this certainly. Uh, look back in time. And 2003. Not much to look at. Got the circular hole over here. Okay, interesting. Circular hole. Um, how does this change over the years? Uh, see, what I was thinking was some of the curves we see, they might be uh, partial uh, aspects of these holes, whatever this is. So it could be, a, these curves could be like former holes and then the coastline receded so that like more of the circle is eroding away. So there's only a semicircle left remaining. That could be the case for some of these. 2003 looking pretty new, maybe. I don't know, this could be anything. Uh, but what was I seeing a second ago? These parallel lines here like this, that could be modern. But, uh, yeah. So. Okay, let's keep moving. And looking at this now, this almost looks like three circles. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, another place mark over here. So another circular hole. So whatever that is, it's interesting. Potentially not, maybe even not a hole, just like a bear patch. Could even be like vegetation or something, just a natural process. See this fine line here? This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Uh, this one here, and maybe, let's see, does it continue? Not sure. Yeah, I don't know about these holes, but whatever they are, they are there. And, This curve, see how kind of perfect, perfect that looks, but uh, I have a feeling it's either natural or modern work, maybe, I don't know. Doesn't seem to change much. Like here it's less defined and then later on it gets like more defined. So that's a little weird. Oh, uh, hmm. Could just be different seasons, the vegetation advances and retreats. Uh, possible parallel lines here in this direction. It's kind of faint. Let's move on to what was over here. Curve. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm seeing like this and this, this line here. See these? Something, and then maybe this. Potentially straight parallel terraforming maneuvers, maybe even in this direction as well. Like that. Although here it's looking like might be an image glitch or something. 
so maybe I shouldn't talk too much about that unless that's really there. I don't know what that would be. Hmm, it's interesting. Here we're seeing kind of a line across here. Let me zoom out. So like, like there. And then continuing up here, like that maybe. See, a lot of these are pretty faint. Um, although I would say here we're seeing some nearly uh, visible uh, indications of parallel lines in this direction. Would you agree? Um, hmm. Like here. Um, maybe even here, like this way. Ah, it's it's tough. It's it could go either way. Like, oh yeah, we're definitely seeing like an image glitch here. Like we see duplicate features. So I don't know what's going on here. You see right here. Uh, not sure what's happening. Some kind of glitch. Okay. But I was pointing out this curve, which is. Okay, so it's looking fairly clean there in recent years. Uh, and then maybe another one here. Again, it might be natural. But who knows? Okay. Let's mosey on, and let me get my bearings real quick. I think we've done all these so far. Uh, let's hit these ones up here. Uh, this one, I think I already hit a uh, linear stretch of river. This is kind of awkward like this. Somewhat cartoonish, I would say. Uh, this not perfectly linear but awkward and then so I'm saying let me bring up a better photo uh, I'm saying uh, here we have a fairly linear but not quite linear uh, stretch of river and then like the path of it continues like there almost that could just be natural uh, hmm. I feel like maybe I should have made a shorter video instead and just showed fewer examples, some better examples maybe. Potential parallelness here. You see what I'm talking about in this direction? Faint indications of it. Okay. Yeah, like see how, how awkwardly straight this looks? That's cartoonish to me, I would say. Um, okay. Awkwardly straight stretch, see 2013 photo especially. Get that up here. Yeah, good, good clean look here. And, hmm, slightly awkward, maybe. And again, if there's like a, a downhill gradient or something, then yeah, the water will flow straight for a while. Uh, it's, it's certainly to be considered. Uh, One moment, I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. Thank you. What else? These are covered. Moving path, I think I got these. 
curve. So these kind of bulbous knees. Uh, I think I got that one. Yeah, got those. Okay, so let me uh, go uh, and do these right now. So let's do it. Um, okay, so this angular uh, bit of coast here with this river kind of along the same edge as that. Um, and just awkward looking. I could be wrong. It might be normal or natural edge of long tool path or maybe a river path, but it's uh, this across here. So this kind of faint parallel tick marks here, you see that? I think, I mean, and then this whatever path this is it looks like looks like a river former riverway maybe and then it just kind of peters out yeah I'm referring to this big stripe across here so who knows there uh, modern What am I talking about? Oh, that thing. Yeah, probably modern. Okay. Parallel lines. Opposite direction. And more parallel lines. Let's see if we can actually see these. So parallel lines, I think I'm referring to this way. And then we have some going like this way, maybe. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, like you kind of see them here, very faint, but you kind of see indications of faint tick marks going this way, along this direction, and multiple directions really, I'm kind of seeing. And the resolution isn't good enough to say for certain, but could be something there. Hopefully one of these examples I hit on will convince you because uh, I seem to remember some fairly clear parallel lines. Some holes here. Interesting. Or not holes, vegetation I guess. And then uh, place my marks back on. Lines meet. So what lines? Okay, so I'm seeing like maybe this line, maybe this line. Yeah. Uh, looking for a better view of it. Hmm. Lines meet. Uh, let's see. So I guess I'm talking about like this and these, like these lines here. Hmm. 
All right, well, that's not a super clear one, so let's just move on, I guess. Uh, possible parallel lines here. Okay, uh, path continue. Yeah, I got that. Likely modern. So the rectangle here, straight edge. So just this, I guess the straight edge of this. Mm, that's not straight. What am I talking about? One of my worst fears is that, uh, oh, there we go. See how straight this edge is? But that could have to do with uh, the construction of this. So I, I can't really say that that's necessarily the terraforming deal, although it could be. It's just awkwardly straight, in my opinion. Uh, and you see it continuing out there. Um, hmm. And some of these curves are just a little weird looking, like a nice little, almost looks like a road. Like a, a nice clean turn and then straight for a while and very, very strange. Oh, and then one thing I haven't mentioned yet is uh, there's almost no meander in these rivers over the last uh, 20 years at least. So um, they're not changing course much. Uh, there is a significant uh, change in water level apparently from season to season, but we're not seeing a whole lot of that in the photos and the rivers themselves are not changing course over the years. They're just keeping the same shape. Like look at this one, for example, looks the same in 2002 as it does now. So, uh, just for reference. Sorry, I'm losing my spot here a little bit. Uh, awkward angular banks. I'm just saying here, it's like, it's kind of herky jerky like that subjectively here this is a little bulbous but it, like curved but it kind of makes sense here same with here like that could make sense that could be natural just observing here, this is, yeah, I mean, maybe the rectangle there. Let's check it out. Historical photos. Probably somewhat recent. Okay. I think I was saying, I started saying one of my worst fears is that the images start changing. <laughs> <laughs> or like my place marks start moving or something. That would suck. Here, you kind of see it like lines like this way almost. Like that. If you see that, hopefully I'm not making that up. And then certainly this guy. Thankfully it's a little clearer. Uh, fairly straight. And I don't know that it continues. Maybe, maybe that's part of it. Maybe not. Maybe here, possibly. Uh, okay. Yeah, the curve. I'm not necessarily presenting this curve thing as strong evidence. I'm just observing it. Like sometimes like here almost, it seems a little abrupt. Like it makes a little more sense when it's at a knee, but when it's like, I don't know, just in the middle middle of a river bend. It looks like this looks a little clean and awkward to me. You see that? Mm, just like a <laughs> uh, cartoonish, I guess. Or like a, a snake that swallowed a rat and the, the rats going down its digestive tract and making a big bulge as it goes. Slightly resembles that. Okay, let's continue. More bulbs and curves. Let's 
get a good look in history of what these look like. And some triangular patches that are somewhat interesting, potentially. This curve. Another, excuse me, another thing that occurred to me is that what if um, these curves that we're seeing are part of some type of uh, like underlying foundation work that was done for this terraforming project and then as the seasons roll on more of the sediment erodes away and then it reveals the more resilient soil that's like compacted or whatever from uh, from the terraforming deal I mean I can't say that with a lot of confidence but it's possible I guess here I mean a little strange slightly discontinuous or disproportionate maybe angled shore maybe a little like like this not sure oh it kind of looks like uh, this line here is like goes like that potentially Maybe even continuing here like that, and you see it continue like that. Could just be natural river path. Line across. Okay, so this line across, this line across. Just trying to figure out what those are. So I'm referring to these. And this guy, like this, and possibly continuing there, like these possible tick marks across or lines across uh, in this direction. And then I was seeing like lines this way as well, possibly. If you see these in this diagonal direction. So let's look back. Yeah, a little clearer there. Uh, and you kind of see it, indications of it there, and even here. Yeah, so if these are there, then uh, then I think we are seeing like a heavily worked over artificial area, in my opinion. Maybe even like the, the planting of the trees was part of it as well. Like someone just has a really advanced process where they can just plop down a, a forest, like a natural forested looking area um, that looks like it's been there for a thousand years. And they can they can just do that like with the push of a button, maybe. Seems plausible at least. So this direction I'm seeing some fairly well-defined grooves here like that and here. So hopefully you're with me on that. This one's fairly clean. What else? Okay, let's continue. Uh, Angle shore, got that, got these. Let's keep moving north, triangle. So yeah, this is something we kind of see. Just triangular patches. There's one of these in New Jersey, if you remember. Uh, triangular patch. In the still images I had. You know, why don't I show that real quick? So here's this triangle, and it should be considered along with these. So maybe it's just, uh, and that kind of looks triangular. There's some other ones that look more uh, more perfect, I guess. Um, maybe even there. But um, yeah, let me just uh, show you this New Jersey one real quick, if I'm even capable of capable of doing something real quick. Uh, where is it? Dang it, I know it's there. <laughs> it's here somewhere. New Jersey. Oh, you know what? I think it's in Maine, actually. Crap. Um, let's go back to Google Earth Pro. Maybe I can find it if I 
type in the word triangle. No. Um, so, well, actually, this is a good example. And this is, I think this is in Russia somewhere. And a uh, decent example of a potentially triangular gouge out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe even hit same idea here. And with a little path here, uh, path continues. Uh, so this whole area, I think we're seeing stuff like that. Um, and like gouges and paths and stuff. Uh, I do want to stay focused. So uh, let me see if I could find that other one in uh, um, in Maine. Crap. Well, whatever. Uh, we'll just skip it for now. Let's go back to the Sunderbans. Ugh, I think I was in Canada actually. Whatever. Sorry, and we're back. Okay. So we were moving up here with these potential triangles like this. And here was that one I was talking about. And rectangle. So just kind of polygonal patches. Uh, could be any number of explanations looking cleaner in 2002. Slightly, slightly goofy. Could be modern work, perhaps. So yeah, like these right triangles almost. Long straight parallel lines, whole area. So what orientation am I talking about? I think I'm talking about this way. There, you see some this way maybe, like this. Uh, and then maybe like here, here, see that uh, line here, here, it's faint, but you kind of see something there. Hmm. No, oh, sorry, my monitor fell. Okay. So where are these lines, man? I mean, I think I'm seeing them like this way. Yeah, like, see a faint one there and there. That's the thing. It's so faint and hard to say for certain. Uh, here you kind of see faint indications of it. Like if you look at it from about right there. Yeah, I think I'm talking about like, see this, and this, and then if you look around, you see like other lines like it, and they're not perfectly parallel, but it's some type of artificial thing, I think. Here, perhaps. Trying to get the best view of it. Okay, well, let's move on, I guess. Kind of seeing a linear path there, if you see that. See that one? And. Hmm. Possibly continuing or a different line there.
Okay, more place marks, straight stretch. Mm. Not straight, but let me see. Now a little cartoonish, but not a great example. And I'm seeing possible like faint, very faint, uh, like lines going this way. Like you see this, this way here, these lines, parallel lines. If you're with me on that, kind of see it there, there a little bit. So again, very subtle, uh, but you kind of see it. If you look, mm. triangular patch, maybe. Okay, my places. So oddly straight. What do we got? What is oddly straight? This line here, maybe? Is that what I'm talking about? This? Uh, so, 2002 photo. Okay, a little clear. Here we see a line this way. Interesting. And then... I'm talking about this across here and yeah I mean maybe tough to say possibly continuing there or something possible faint lines here maybe here looking like I see some parallel stuff Uh, not any, well, a little bit. Oh. Nearly linear stretch. Mm. I think I went over that, did I? It's not. Okay, so I guess from like this zoom level, or this elevation, kind of looks a little awkwardly straight. Might not be a strong example. Here we see kind of that bulbous look, the curve. Seems like it morphs a little bit over the years. Check these ones out. Long straight line. Here we go. Here's a line all the way across. And it goes how far? All the way across here. Does it continue over here? Maybe. Kind of lose it, but let's look in the uh, earliest photo. So we've got this line here. Could be a modern thing. I mean, it's artificial, no doubt. And kind of undisturbed by the uh, the shoreline here. Even here, I'm seeing like additional lines, possibly this way, some parallel lines, long parallel lines. If you see what I'm saying. Uh, Continuing here, this line, and it looks like it kind of stops over here. Here's another one up here. This one 
could be a dredge or something, certainly. Just following it as far as it goes. Yeah, I'm looking fairly unfazed by the terrain change. Let's measure measure this. It's like 67 feet across. Probably like 10 feet wide. So it could be a modern vehicle, a tractor or something. So whatever that is. It's in parallel lines, faint. So I'm seeing them this way, like this. This orientation and long thin line like here maybe uh, maybe hmm yeah, I guess just right here these parallel lines maybe there Maybe here. Again, some of those might be river paths, but certainly right here. See this one? Let's look at this one. This line here is certainly there. I don't think this is an image artifact or digital artifact. So that is there, whatever that is. Let's keep following it. And it seems to continue there and there. Curve along. Possible with some brothers and sisters like parallel with it just similar lines so that's one example of a kind of a stark line across the landscape and looking like it continues do we cover this one already i think we did Hopefully. Uh, well, we covered the, this one, this one, and then now I'm seeing another horizontal one up here. So just like that. Again, perfectly straight. And these other lines here. So I'm not making up the lines thing. It's just they're, they're more faint in some places. And the only real question is how modern is it? Or how how down to earth is the explanation? Um, here's another one going this way. If you see that, here, there, certainly, there, and faint ones alongside, perhaps there. Let's follow this one. Where does this go? Going, going this way. Keeps going. And kind of lose it, but maybe it continues like here or something as one of these. Um, okay. And this modern stuff, apparently. Yeah. All right. So, mm, maybe parallel lines here, like that. This, I would say, is an awkwardly straight little stretch of river here. Maybe you agree. And then even an angular thing there. Perhaps, if you see that, maybe a line there. So uh, again, the, the big picture is that uh, Zunder bands might just be like a, a makeshift uh, forest or makeshift natural area that someone just throws up overnight, more or less, to uh, to fill a gap or to um, to fill some fulfill some role or to re republish the continents or re uh, 
refurnish the, the Earth's surface with uh, a backdrop, a natural playground. Or here's another line. You see this? So, and then faint other lines across. So, if it is like modern transportation or something, I wouldn't ex expect to see the parallel ones, which sometimes I feel like my mind's playing tricks on me and these aren't really there, but I kind of see faint indications of parallel lines like that. Uh, maybe even like here, there. And not always exactly parallel, but um, let's go back to the place marks. Straight angular bend. I don't know if I covered these. And parallel lines, faint. Yeah, I think I'm just talking about these ones. This line actually looking slightly odd. Could be a former coastline, but coastline doesn't seem to change too much over the last 20 years. Okay, angular bend, so it's this guy, a little little odd. Long thin line, what am I talking about here? So I think like this almost. So actually, I think I already covered these place marks. Maybe lines here. Okay, let's just let's jump up to the next place marks. Long straight lines, got these going across. Long thin lines, lines like this, and if you look really anywhere, you could kind of see indications of these parallel lines, like right here, seeing some parallel lines along this direction, faint indications of it anyway, like lines like that, just very faint indications of grooves, and then more stark ones like this here see that certainly here area crisscross with many fine lines multiple orientations yeah so could be some type of natural like forest ranger surveying type thing I don't know. Actually, Australia is crisscrossed with these lines as well. So maybe we should go look at that real quick, just for reference. Maybe, but it might take a while. Some more of these lines. Here. And you kind of see them like splaying out and just patches of them here. So I think it's more of a, a bigger picture uh, terraforming working over of the whole area and then these lines are left as either the final maneuvers of the terraforming and they just got sloppy or they left them deliberately uh, to uh, like as a calling card or to out themselves or whatever reason. So we have these multiple wide paths. Yeah, so more of these paths here going across. Wide path. Path this way. Uh, yeah, so this path. More of the crisscrossed look. These here. And if possible, like additional fainter lines going across, maybe even this way as well. Tough to say, like this almost. Certainly like these, these wide paths, I'm not sure what these are. Uh, 
it just kind of dead ends at the coast here. And I think uh, one edge of this continues like that. See that? Okay. Possible lines this way. Okay, uh, so more of these bands and these crisscrossing lines. So if you made it this far in this video, uh, you can at least agree that there's some type of artificial thing going on in the area. Uh, the only question is whether it's modern conventional activity or something weirder. So this is the, this is what I mean by like parallel, parallel or nearly parallel lines like this, 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 and then we've got little lines like that, and then these big gashes like that. So pattern soup, again with that idea perhaps. Uh, here's a path here, continuing. Another long one here, long thin line, continuing, uh, maybe continuing. Here's one. Long thin line ends in awkward curve. I think the curve I'm talking about is, uh, let me hide that, like this. Mm -hmm. That may not be the same feature, but it may be. Tough to say for certain, but yeah, just that line and seemingly parallel lines here, potentially. Yeah, certainly like, mm. Well, this wide path, this one across here, lines crossing. This little bear patch here. I mean, it could be logging or anything really. A faint line there, maybe. There. Hmm. Certainly that. Okay, I think you get the picture on that. Get situated here. So I pretty much, so this wide path continues across the river here, it seems like, like that. So when, if, if the Sundarbans is artificial, like when do I think it happened? Man, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Here's another one of those potentially awkward curves. Like here's an example of like one that's not quite exposed yet, perhaps. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Even like here, maybe. Mm. Let's look at the historical photos. Not really. Oh, uh, this one is still there, kind of. It's just different lighting. This, a little angular, so that may be modern stuff. Yeah, I think there's some coastal change here. And yeah, we do have this like semicircle here. It kind of disappears. Yeah. And then, uh, like another one emerging, maybe. And this one certainly new. So, from 2017 to 2018, this one just pops up out of the blue. So, either that's natural or modern fishing stuff. Again, let's get a let's feel for the width of it. About 400 feet across, so fairly sizable. Could be some type of whirlpool thing, I don't know. 
Okay, straight line. What is this? Hmm. Which direction? This one? I think I mean maybe this direction. Yeah, so like this. And some other lines like like this one. Maybe here. So this is another area where I, I would say I'm seeing like pretty faint indications of parallel lines, sets of parallel lines and multiple orientations. Again, not super clear, not super definitive, but some kind of faint lines, parallel indications. And let's see where we at. Straight line. So we're working our way up here. Straight line. Okay, so let's hit all these real quick and then I might take a little break. So rectangle here is modern. Yeah, most likely. Don't want to bother with that right now. Mm. Triangle patch? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, well, uh, continues, continues, continues. So straight path. Let's check this out. What is a straight path? So this is what I'm referring to. And let's get the place marks out of the way. And I'm seeing, so we have this path here, the straight path. And I would argue some potentially parallel additional paths as well. But uh, see here we have it possibly continuing, possibly continuing like this, possibly continuing or something here. Continues even here. These are difficult to follow sometimes, kind of lose them. Hmm. But yeah, definitely something there. Here as well, maybe. And seeing some lines like here, see that? And kind of some parallel lines along with it. What do my place marks say? Um, yeah, so here's a good example of some kind of parallel lines here. Kind of tick marks across almost. 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 Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know what that was. Okay, so these lines, what, about, what else we got? Long thin path here. Some of these could be old river edges or coastlines or river paths. I don't buy that for many of these. Another one here, like that, looking like. Okay, multiple thin lines, paths. Let's see, what year? Um, so kind of like a line here and then a line here. You see that like this one, like that. Pretty faint, uh, another one like this maybe. Yeah, pretty faint, but seemingly, seemingly there. What else? Long thin lines, opposite direction. So we've got parallel lines in this direction, I would say. Wonder if you can see that, like kind of like this, maybe even curving down like this, like this. So long thin line. 
Where's the long thin line? I think the long thin line is here, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm referring to. Again, hard to, hard to make out in a lot of these cases. Awkward curved path here. This guy, just a little awkward. Here we have a line across here, seemingly. Linear path across there. Um, yeah. Long thin path. Thin path. Faint parallel grooves, 2002. So I think we're seeing like, oh, I think I mean in this direction actually. Look in this direction. I mean, maybe multiple directions if you see another direction, but I'm seeing some indications of parallel lines like that. And down in, into this area, even. Long, faint, straight line. Let's check that out. So I think I mean this. Yeah, so that. Okay. Let me zoom out and get situated, see what we've covered already. Awkward thin path. Hmm. So maybe this. Possible parallel stuff going on here. Okay. Very faint parallel lines. So I'm referring to like this way, I think. So if there's if those parallel lines are there, that's kind of like a a nail in the coffin for me. I mean, like, a seals the deal, like there's something strange going on. And I think I covered most of these lines already, so. Uh, and as a challenge, I would just say, or like a little homework assignment, I would just say, zoom in on anywhere in the Sunder bands and uh, look in the historical photos and just scrub around and try to uh, see if you can't find any either parallel lines or, or weird patterns, anything that looks goofy. So clean curve 2002. Uh, just, just subjectively again, it looks a little abrupt and uh, discontinuous there. But again, it could be some con uh, confluence of natural factors, geological and weather and stuff like that. So it's hard to say for certain what's going on there. And also on the opposite side, perhaps. Let us continue zigzaggy. So just subjectively, again, we've got some zigging and zagging. Not a uh, super convincing example, but just a little bit um, goofy looking to my eye. Kind of zigzaggy. And another somewhat discontinuous circle here. And even like a sub uh, circle there. So that's interesting that can kind of help us figure out what's going on. So there's like this larger one and then like this smaller one here. That's pretty interesting. Uh, hmm. All 
right, so I may want to take a break right now. Clean tip 2002. Uh, we still have quite a ways to go. Um, let me just uh, knock, out, knock out a couple more of these and then I'll take a break. Straight lines, parallel lines. We've got lines here, this way, and this way, or same direction. And taking a look back in time here, 2001, mm, kind of got a cloud there, but see kind of faint lines across. See if I can get a better image. Hmm. Maybe even here. Maybe not. See these lines like that? There, there, maybe, there, and kind of see indications of it there this way perhaps parallel lines what about this one so actually I'm referring to this way I think here mm. yeah, so it might be there Hmm, could be an image glitch again. Hopefully not. Straight lines like this. This. No, like faint parallel straight lines, I think, like these. Straight-ish anyways. That maybe uh, modern. What am I talking about there? Okay, yeah, these. See these buildings with these rectangle things, so these are modern, fairly certain. And we see it's some change to the coastline here. Interesting. All right. What's this bulbous guy? Here we go. Somewhat, uh, the curved look here at the union of these rivers or junction. So that's looking kind of natural, I would say. Here it's looking more clean and cartoonish, I would say. Not to mention like this faint line there, like seemingly lines going this way. If I'm not mistaken, I can see these kind of faint lines there. This, like you see it clearer here. Zoom in there, like that. I don't know that that's a natural streak. And like this awkwardly straight edge here to my eye. Or a slight curve to it, but it looks like it continues across like that. See, it's a little, little awkward to me. Maybe some lines across here. Yeah. So this, uh, yeah, these curves do irk me a little bit, slightly cartoonish, even this a little bit. Yeah, not sure. Okay. Straightish segment. 
again, actually, let's look at this bul bulbous. I'm calling it like bulbous or a bulge. Or, uh, where the, the river, I'm sure there's a geological term for like where they, uh, where rivers meet, the junction or whatever. And then there's some kind of dynamic of currents. Uh, the weird thing is when you see it in like a, just an awkward uh, stretch of river that's not where the rivers meet. Hmm. Let's, just, let's take a look at this. What's going on here? No oh, nice clean curve there and there, but maybe some faint lines actually. Potentially. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I am seeing faint parallel lines. I just don't know if they're, if like my mind's playing tricks on me or if it's like an, a digital artifact just because it's kind of grainy and not super well-defined. So this straightest segment, a little odd, awkward, in my opinion. Let me hide that so we can get a look at it. Yeah, it just irks me a little bit, even like this straight stretch, slightly, slightly goofball. Okay, let's keep moving. Got another bulbous thing up here. And what year? Uh, this one not looking particularly artificial. This image looks a little cleaner. A little cartoony. Hmm. All right. And obviously I didn't look at every square inch of the cylinder bands. I just looked at what I could. This is a little weird. This uh, angular bank, or angled, like straightish, just slightly awkward, in my opinion. And then just a little hint of a curve there, just from here to here. So let's look at that back in time. Oh, they looked different in 2002. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess it's been receding. And, like, receding back to the straight line. So, hmm. So, I do wonder, like, given the straightness and abruptness of that, if it's, like, if the fluff is eroding off and then it's uh, revealing a underlying, more resilient uh, remnant of the artificial terraforming, potentially. I mean, I'm seeing lines across this way, kind of. So that might make sense, somewhat. Mm, are there lines across this way? I don't know. And what about this guy? Hmm. Looking fairly... It does change a little bit, yeah. Be some seasonal fluctuations there. Okay. I think I hit this already. Let's pull this. Bend. Maybe I didn't, but there's a lot of these. And see all their photos for the how the curves change. So here's where we have a lot of these little curves. 
And this is what it looks like today, more or less. Uh, so let's check out the older photos. So back in the day, we've got, it looks like the coastline's a little farther out. And then, kind of see them starting to form here. Kind of messy. The coastline just seems to keep receding. Like this one is new in 2016. Or uh, 2013 and 2016, this starts to form. And then these other ones as well. Hmm. Yeah, might be natural. I'm not quite sure. These ones apparently seem to shift over the years, so let's check that out. Thank you for joining me on this riveting tour of clicks and drags and zooms and scrolls. So these do shift shape a little bit. Coastline seems to be receding and this one starts to form like a nice clean curve there. Hmm. And then it shifts over to the right a little bit, it looks like. Like, see, it shifts from here to, like, over here. Yeah. Maybe there's another underlying curve here that's being revealed. Could be. In the 2016 photo, I'm seeing faint indications of parallel lines this way, like this. Like here, here, maybe, potentially. Okay. See, here's a bulb that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's at least, uh, it's kind of just in the middle of a straight stretch. Bulge, oh, it looks, certainly seems to change over the years. So, this looks like it's shrinking. Interesting. So I'm not sure what's going on there. All this kind of been over that multiple times. Okay, whatever. Okay. Give me a second. Let me uh, try and get situated. Uh, get a feel for what we've covered already. Uh. Hmm. I feel like I got this stuff. What else? Curves are running away. Clean curve 2001. Check this out. So in 2001, this curve looks pretty clean here. And then I guess some slight changes to it. Hmm. And I'm seeing some parallel lines here. You see that? Whether that's natural or not, I don't know. Maybe here as well. Here, kind of. Let's check this out. Straight path, curves, awkward. So straight path here, I think. Like this curve, maybe. Curves this way, maybe. 
Not sure what I mean by the curve, but. Uh, kind of a path there. Maybe some parallel paths across as well, parallel lines. Here I'm seeing some parallel streaks. Hmm. Faint indication of it there. Alright. Parallel lines really there or image glitch. So uh Yeah, I'm like, I'm like seeing them this way, but, and right here, here, I just can't be certain that that's not an image artifact. Hmm. Here, I feel like that's a straight line. And some lines going this way that look pretty clear. All right, well, let's keep moseying. How about this guy, this path across here, maybe? Faint little parallel tick marks. All right. I guess I never took my break. I'm not sure if I'm going to take a break or not. We'll see. Uh, so these, again, these little chunk mark things that could be artificial, uh, potentially. It could also be natural. I could definitely see that. I don't know whether they're receding or whether that's image alignment. I think it's just image alignment. Yeah, so not sure what causes these. Let's look at like this curve, for example, over the years. So, mm, yeah, it does seem to change. So, like looking at this guy, maybe. Either it's receding, it's tough to tell. Anyways, whatever's going on there. Jagged things, same deal there. Looking a little awkward, but maybe natural. Angular turn. Arg. So just this kind of an angular turn there for the river. How about Older photo, still looking. Oh, it might be a, like a curve there. Another one of those bulbous things. Yeah, like this. Okay. Angular turn here. And also these are a little awkward too. Just this almost a right angle with some curve to it, but just subjectively a little odd.
Did I get this one yet? So this one in 2001, it has this clean curve. I may have done this one already, I can't remember. And then, can't really see it anymore. Yeah, I think I did this one already, sorry. Curves eroding away. Maybe. What do we got here? Very clean edge, but I think this clean edge is just the uh, the water level change, as you'll see. It's looking pretty clean and crisp there, but I believe that is just the water level. So let's take a look. Yeah, that's the former former coast, and then we see the the coastline changing a bit over the years. Yeah, just the water level lowering or whatever. Okay. Okay, so I think I've done everything like over here roughly we just have these left so I don't know maybe another hour <laughs> uh, once again thank you for joining me it's I know it's not particularly entertaining at every moment so uh, I appreciate your time I'll try and do my best to value it or uh, uh, respect it some, somewhat. Uh, divot, let me see. So just this guy. The bulbous curve deal. Eh, it's faint, but... Things in lines like this way here. Potentially like that here. Okay. This curve shows up in two thousand sixteen. So looking pretty curvy there. Not really there. Mm. Can I see it there? Maybe. Okay, so between 2014 and 2016, you see it show up. It looks like there may be an indication of it already there, underlying, perhaps, but. I can't, I'm not too sure of that. Like, I'm looking at like this curve here. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, long straight line, what do we got? Well, multiple long straight lines. There's one. Okay, so this way. Like this direction here. Possibly continuing. Faint parallel lines, maybe. Kind of see some tick marky things there. 
here a little bit. Curve shows up in 2013. Another curve only visible in 2001. So let's hide these guys and look here. So here's this curve here. And it's kind of still there. Eleven, with 2001 we see this, maybe natural, another one that shows up recently. See like one of these years it looks kind of clean and crisp, like this year, it's like a fairly clean curve. Hmm. This one looking a little abrupt, I would say. Here it's just like a kind of out of place, just like right. And I am seeing like little faint parallel or little angular gouges, maybe. Crap, it's hard to say. <sighs> Let's look back real quick. So this wasn't there in 2001. Here's something, but in a different position. It looks like it's kind of meandering maybe. Yeah, it looks like it meanders and then grows. So, Yeah, I would say these must be natural, I guess. It's it's odd that it ends up in this kind of abrupt, nice clean curve, like kind of interrupting the natural coastline, but it's, it's just odd, I guess. Could be a mangrove idiosyncrasy. Just there. So this shore here, uh, if you just kind of zoom out, again on the subjective angle, just subjectively, but it looks like an very awkward proportions here. Just derpy is how I would describe it. Very derpy coastline with a kind of an almost angular thing there and then kind of wobbly and uh, just like from here to there, uh, just looking weird. But it may be natural. Curves are modern work. Good question. I don't know. Somewhat angular, awkward, uh, a little bit. Somewhat clean there. Here, nice and crisp, whatever that is. Probably a former water line. This is one I would call abrupt again. It may be, uh, this one's not perfectly circular, so that's interesting. And it's gone by recent, recently, so 2001. Abrupt curve, 2001. So, uh, and then it kind of disappears by like 2011. 
kind of see the faint indications of it. So I don't know what that is. It's it's so abrupt that it's very it would be very striking to me if it's natural. I'll try and get a, a better angle of it. This. Just looking very yeah very abrupt and uh, discontinuous. Just a discontinuous curve, uh, uh, like curved chunk out of the shore line. Maybe even parallel grooves. I feel like I'm seeing like in this direction. Just a faint hint of it. This. Hmm. All right. Possible circular thing there. Okay, back on. Straight lines across. So here I think we have a good view of a uh, fairly uh, like fairly awkward lines here like this. It's pretty faint, but it's there. This line. This line. These may be former uh, large scale uh, river paths or like beach ridges or something. I don't know. I feel like I'm seeing like parallel gouges or gaps in this direction. It's just very faint indications of parallel work along this orientation here. Um, kind of see it there. Like that. Hmm. All right. Long line. Yeah, there. So I think I mean like this. So like this. Maybe faintly continuing there, maybe not. Uh, here's kind of a faint line, maybe. Faint line. Like this. Perhaps, perhaps this. Triangular. Somewhat, yeah. Ish, triangular ish. I'm not sold on that that one, but it may be some weirdness. Okay. How are we doing? Probably not very good on time. <laughs> what are we, like two and a half hours into this now or something like that? I should probably time these. Uh... I'm seeing like faint lines across here, faint lines like this. So it's stuff like that that makes me raise an eyebrow. Oddly straight river. Yeah, I'd say that's oddly straight for sure.
pretty awkward to me. Just this stretch of river right here. It's a good view of it. Kind of like that, even here maybe, and here a little bit. Just kind of a very clean, smooth path. Uh, once again, subjective, so can't really prove anything there. All right, let's keep moving. Awkward lip divot thing. Oh uh, yeah, just like right here maybe. I'm actually not quite sure what I was referring to there, so I think I'll skip that one. Here, we're almost seeing some parallel work here, like this. These straight, fine lines here. If my eyes are not deceiving me, like here, you can see indications of it there, there, and even this way, if you look closely, another orientation like for sure right here, see that? And then definitely right here. Uh, so yeah, we're seeing some lines this way. Uh, there you kind of see some. And could be natural. Man, I don't know. See, I don't know what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I think right at this point we just have these ones remaining. So that's about 20 to 25 place marks or so. And then I think we can leave the area. So hopefully there's some good examples over here I can show you. Uh, just the slight bulbousness. Some of them are more uh, strongly bulbous or more pronounced, and some of them are more slight like this. So, just for reference, here's like a kind of interesting, similar, but slightly different phenomenon, like maybe like it's eroding up to a line here. See possible parallel lines behind it, uh, maybe. Let's look at the historical photos. 2006, kind of just the pronounced angle, looking a little abrupt, potentially, not seeming to change a whole lot, so I'm not sure what that is. Could be old uh, modern conventional work that they just left the area and moved on. It's possible. How about this? So curved maneuver. All right, so I think what I'm saying is there's like this curve here, and it seems like it continues here with that faint line. So that might be an old river path potentially, or seeing some lines like that maybe. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't know. Some angles here, perhaps. Potentially, potentially. Oh, I unplugged my monitor, sorry about that. With my foot. <laughs> Still with you here, just one moment. There we go. That's what we call production value right there. A little realism. <laughs> um, possible faint parallel tick marks there. See these? 
like this, if you see that. Uh, I'm seeing it there as well. So if that's a real thing that's really there and not just like an image artifact or something, then I think it's kind of a big deal. I don't think it's all modern stuff. Here potentially as well. All right. Maybe even there. Maybe there. Okay, let's keep on the place marks. So what do we got? We did this, 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 got it. Oh, this is just another one of the same type of deals here. Kind of a more angular, another one of the angular variations on this. Oop. Not looking like it's there in the past. So it looks like it kind of reveals as time rolls on, maybe. I don't know. A little discontinuous, perhaps, subjectively at least. Uh, curve seems to change over the years, maybe recent. So 2006, it's over here. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of migrating almost. So it might be some natural flow pattern, or actually this looks like a different curve and then there's one that's already here maybe that's being revealed. So let's check that out. Yeah, kind of. Kind of looks like it was already there, but just covered up by vegetation. You kind of see it there almost. So, this could be like a former tooling maneuver that's being, um, and we see something like here as well. See that outline of something? So, the, these could be former tooling maneuvers, like whatever um, process they use to make over the earth, uh, just the, uh, the trajectory of the the path or the tooling is being revealed there, like it left some some remains of the or remnants of the the uh, the tooling behind. Like these are like little miniature levees or mounds or uh, like solid ribbon of rock or something. I don't know what might be there, but it might be something artificial that's being revealed as the vegetation. Big roads away, something like that, potentially. Okay, let's keep moving, try and knock these out. This is one that's placed, I would say, somewhat abruptly or discontinuously. Uh, if you look at it from like this angle, it just looks like kind of an, an awkward proportion or awkward position. And I'm kind of seeing some angles out of the corner of my eye here, which may or may not be there, but let's look at this guy over the years. Not really there, but perhaps like back here, let's see some of it. Yeah, not really there at all. Nothing there, nothing to see. So it looks like 2013 is not there, in 2014 it is there, so not quite sure why something happens in 2014 which creates it, looks like, maybe. Alright, so whatever. Sorry if that's boring, but I think it's important to try and debunk any false alarms or uh, false positives. There we go this line here maybe slightly could be the former coastline I guess awkward contour maybe 
Not much to see in 2011. Yeah. Okay, so here, here's another like slightly bulbous one, like just a little bit. Here's another one that's like, ah, oh. <laughs> like subjectively, I gotta say that one irks me just because it's such a perfect semicircle. I gotta think I had a still image of this one because it's just, ugh. It would make more sense if it was like a, a larger diameter bulge because of the, the way the river goes but it's too small in proportion to the river and it's just like an awkward angle here and awkward proportion. So let's see how long it's looked like, looked like this. So at least since 2002, it's more or less looked the same. So crap, does that not look odd to you? <laughs> and probably for the 13th time, I'll say, it could still be natural, even though it's cartoonish looking, but it does look cartoonish, I would say. It's very awkward. It's like a wart. <laughs> it's like, or like, like a, a nipple on a sine wave. <laughs> Ugh, just bugs me. It screams artificial, even though it's, or even if it's not. So we may not get a good answer anytime soon but I think it's worth posing the question whether this goofy thing is artificial and certain similar features here but less pronounced so those need to be taken into account as well same type of deal here not quite as obvious in 2011 Almost looks like it's growing, or receding, curve, yeah, another one, same deal. Okay. It seems to change, I think I got this one already. So this outline here is interesting, I will say that. Curve, curve. So we got these guys, and we're just working on these ones up here now. So I would say, well, first of all, the... Um, the river turns, the, like the river trajectory itself, I would say is subjectively cartoonish. And then in addition to that, we have some cartoonish looking bulbs or knees or um, at the knee of the river bend. Just the way these, these curves and contours are just a little, uh, a little irksome, a little too perfect or, uh, oddly proportioned. This one doesn't seem like it's changed much over the years. So whatever's going on there. Uh, this one up here, looks like there's kind of two circles. Hasn't changed a whole lot, I don't think. Maybe a little. And then, like that, that looks very odd to me. Does that not look odd to you? Proportions of it? Mm, I don't know if we're gonna get a good look. Not much to see there. It's kind of, it seems like it's kind of forming recently. Hmm. This may be one of those things where my intuition's just off. 
But yeah, all these bulbies looking a little weird. And let me get touch on this guy over here. So this one, again, just the subjective feeling I get when I look at this, but uh, this river loop here is uh, looking slightly cartoonish to me. It's got some symmetry to it almost. Almost like part of the Mandelbrot set or something, you know. Uh, just a little too perfect looking or a little goofy. Maybe some fine parallel tip marks this way. Can't say for sure. Um, yeah, just subjectively. And then this interior curve, I guess that's former river loop. So I guess this, this would be a fairly large river loop that's no longer, uh, this part of it is filled in, like from here to here. And then it used to be like a big wide river loop. Maybe. Still think it looks weird. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's just a uh, significant water level change. Okay. So I need to sh be more careful. Okay, this is, well, this is an interesting example just to Get a feel for the shoreline change. It's interesting. We don't see that on a whole lot of these river loops. Uh, there's not, well, is there, is this coastline over here changing? Probably a little bit, like right there. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's, um, recent, uh, nature's work there. Still looks a little awkward, but I guess my intuition's off. Okay, place marks back on. Bulbous, angular, awkward. Er, 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 er. How about these loops? Do they change much over the years? These bends. No meandering for this part of the river, for the most part. Uh, no coastline change, it looks like. Or river uh, bank change. So somewhat zigzaggy. Slight bulb here, not super interesting. So somewhat zigzaggy here is what I'm saying. Just, eh, it's a little subjectively goofy. Bulbous here a little bit, here too, just a tad. Here as well, same type of deal there. So looking pretty natural and explainable in, in most places. And then in some places it just looks very awkward. Look here a little awkward. There, look right there. Is it a tiger nest? I'm joking. Uh, does it change much, this one? There's some change to it. So it appears to be like growing or receding. Okay, whatever. Let's get rid of these place marks. So in 2000, this one looks very, like, almost like a perfect semicircle, interestingly. And then looks like it kind of warps or loses shape over the years or even migrates.
So I still don't have a, a definitive, conclusive answer to the, this uh, curve or bulb thing, the semicircle little divot thing. But I guess I'm leaning towards natural at this point. Despite the subjective look of some of the some of the examples. Shut up me. Okay. And we're almost done here, guys. Bear with me. Mm, a little abrupt. Not necessarily a conspiracy. All right, let's move on. And... Okay, so that's basically all my Sunder Bands place marks. We have modern civilization here. Just wondering if some of this is old grid type weirdness. Potentially. You never know. Possible parallel lines. Let me do a couple random zooms, see if we can find anything. This line across bugging me a little bit. Same with this guy. So let's look back in time. Might be a natural path. So as I wrap up this video, I don't feel like I really demonstrated it as strongly as I wanted to or as I felt I could have. I, I mean, we did see some fairly definitive parallel lines, I think. And uh, some less, less defined ones, which may or may not be part of the landscape. So you saw some of these bulbous things. Yeah. Oh, we saw plenty of straight lines. So, uh, that's about it for the Sunder Bands. Uh, if you, uh, um, <laughs> I guess if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments and uh, maybe let me know if you th just on the Sunder bands in particular, if you're convinced by the uh, by the info presented here, or if you have any interesting examples that you found yourself, um, or any uh, relevant information, just post it in the comments and maybe we will have an answer eventually. Okay, thank you for watching, and next time I think we'll cruise around New Jersey and wherever else. Alright, I'll see you then.